So, where are we at now? Amsterdam! Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel, Cast Ventures, and today we are going to be bringing you the top, top 10 things, things to do, do when visiting when Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Ooh. Welcome to Amsterdam. At number 10, eat. Guys, if you're in Amsterdam, there's plenty of places where you can eat and try food from the Netherlands, okay? You can eat the famous fries from Amsterdam, but there is a long line to get some fries here. The best thing is that they put them in a little cone where you can get different sizes. I accidentally got a really big cone. Um, and it, you can choose any type of like sauce. They have so many different types of sauces to put on top of it. And you just walk around enjoying seeing the beautiful sights. Um, herring too. You gotta try herring, man. It's fresh, they, uh, they catch it, they cut it, they put pickles, they put onions, and they can serve it to you in a bun, or they can serve it to you just like that, just the herring itself. Okay, you gotta try it when you're there. That's enough. Yes. How's it taste? Mm -hmm. Delicious. Another thing you gotta try when you're in Amsterdam is, uh, I, I'm sorry if I mispronounced this, the Stroopwafel, okay? It is like a thin pancake, a thin, um, it's like a almost like a like a cookie like a wait but like a waffle okay so obviously it looks like a waf waffle but it's like a wafer cookie um and they like split it right in the middle and they fill it with car caramel um and then you put it together and y'all know how much your girl loves caramel so that was one of my favorite things that we tried um and then another thing that we tried that i loved is that i had apple pie there and i mean hello you always hear about dutch apple pie so we had to do it and it was delicious mm. so basically we did not eat healthy in amsterdam and we're live from albert cube market where he's gonna try smoked eel go who eats a sandwich like that and we don't suggest you do either okay next is number nine number nine is the red light district the infamous red light district you gotta you gotta check it out it don't don't be shy all right so it's just fine it's just something cool like something different that you just don't see anywhere yes you're gonna walk around um and you're gonna be seeing like women dancing in the windows if you're interested if it intrigues you go if it doesn't it's okay they've also got lots of cool bars <laughs> And the locals were like playing music, letting us sing. And dance. Like take over the stage because me and my friends, obviously we were all like, we all danced together in college. So we were doing like our high kicks and stuff. <laughs> Uh, when in Amsterdam, nobody gives an Amsterdam. So go and have all the fun that you can. At number eight, guys, take advantage of the canals. Amsterdam is famous for the canals. You can walk, you're gonna get lost. There's several people that do uh, canal tours in Amsterdam. Take the opportunity and, uh, and take one of those tours, okay? Uh, it's gonna show you the real Amsterdam. So if you have the opportunity, do a canal tour and then you can also have dinner there or they have like bars there as well on those um little cruises i suggest doing it in the evening like as the sun is setting it could be romantic I at number seven the dam square no 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 no. i'm not using profanity the dam square is an actual place it's a meeting point for all of amsterdam and it's a pretty cool place you'll find a lot of street performers You'll find uh, a lot of museums around that area. You'll find the, the French fry place. Um, there's a lot of souvenir shops. There's a lot of things around the damn square. Do not 
miss out on going to the damn square. If you're in Amsterdam, you're gonna have a lot of fun there. They also have cute um, picture opportunities. The, um, that's where I got my apple pie. And that's also where we took pictures of ourselves in clog shoes. Um, like one of us like each in clog shoes and then there was a big clog shoe. Then me and my friends jumped in as well. Um, and number six, hey, just like all major cities in Europe, Amsterdam also has uh, street performers. So walk Amsterdam and you will for sure bump into these street performers. One of the things that we saw a lot in Amsterdam was break dancers. They were really cool. Something cool like that I thought was different is in Amsterdam, they all like had matching like sweatsuits, like Adidas sweatsuits or something. They look super professional and quite a few of the groups that were performing around actually did have this. So. Yeah, and you could, you could tell that they were choreographed. Number five. No <laughs> the I Amsterdam sign. A little play on words, a little play on the name of the city. Um, the I Amsterdam sign, it's huge. It's something like you have to go and get a picture in front of. And also right near where the I Amsterdam sign is, you'll see like benches that say like I Amsterdam and stuff. Because whenever we went, the I Amsterdam sign was super crowded. Like people were just like chilling. So we took a picture in front of it, but we like the one that we got on the bench like even better. Um, all right, number four is to go to the markets. So whenever we th were there, there was this huge market. Um, I actually bought me a couple clothes, a souvenirs. Um, that's where we had our Stroop waffle, um, which was so delicious, as we mentioned earlier. Um, they had good food. We actually sat down and uh, V had some more seafood there and we ate. Um, and I played a little hopscotch. Like, it was just so cool. We spent quite a bit of time there, um, just hanging around and seeing. Just while you're going around and exploring Amsterdam, if you see a market, go in, because that's where you're going to find cheap and good food, as well as items that you may need or may just want to buy for souvenirs as well. Yeah. And number three, Amsterdam is known for being a bike-friendly city. I believe it is the number one city in the world that is that has more bikes than people. Rent a bike and do your own bike tour. There's plenty of shops where you can rent a bike and the experience is unforgettable. That was my favorite part of our entire trip to Amsterdam, I have to say. And that's how we stumbled across things like the park in front of the Rijksmuseum or the market that we went to or just great picture opportunities in front of the canals. Um, it truly was my favorite experience and there's so many people on bikes and there's bicycle lanes that you're gonna know exactly where to go. Our number two must do in Amsterdam is to go to the Rijksmuseum. This museum is incredibly gorgeous. The art and everything inside is just impeccable. Like it's something that you, you could spend hours upon hours inside and the outside is just as amazing. The outside they have like fountains and like little play areas for kids. They had a huge park where people were like just relaxing, playing frisbee. They even had people in like those clear balls where they like run into each other. They just had so many activities going on. So this is a area that we, you know, on our bike tour, we stopped and we enjoyed a bit of some rest at the park and just kind of hung out and like took in the Amsterdam life. And we suggest that you do so. All right, and our final thing that you must do, which is probably on everybody's list, so it had to be number one, and that's visiting the Anne Frank house. Who doesn't grow up reading the diary of Anne Frank um, and knowing all about it? This is just such a historical, like historical venue that you must take part in if you are in Amsterdam. Um, so it was a really cool experience for us to kind of like put things into perspective of how blessed we are, and it was just like crazy to be in a part of history so you definitely need to go and it is not that expensive so I will let you know like when you get there there's probably gonna be a long line to get in but don't sweat it like don't freak out it does move a little quickly um bring a pack a snack or something with you and enjoy it while you're in the line but 
go wait in the line we almost did it and we would have totally regretted it if we hadn't the Anne Frank house was something that neither of us will ever forget so that is our top 10 things to do when in Amsterdam. You gotta go, you are going to love it. You are guaranteed to have a great time. If you like this video, don't forget to actually like it and then subscribe to our channel. Comment below something that we missed on our top 10 list for Amsterdam or something that you think we need to check out in case we go again in the future. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Pinterest at Cast Ventures and then of course our blog, castventures.org. Cast